So, so I've got dialed in a little bit of a, the hall reverb on this thing, which is going to be a little more of the most natural reverb sound um, if you're trying to emulate a sort of room. And with the, um, the advent of A, a lot of high quality guitar pedals that are coming out, the engineers, not just guitar players, not just instrumentalists, but actual audio engineers too as well, have been tapping into um, to use as outboard effects, just like you'd use an old Lexicon PCM 90 kind of reverb, those sort of things. And there's also really great plugins for that sort of thing. The Bahala DSP stuff is really cool for a lo-fi vintage reverb. But these things as well give you an analog, access to analog effects and sounds and with the stereo outs of the Descent uh, become really, really useful since you kind of want this nice wide stereo image as an audio engineer in the first place. So with the hall set up and just kind of some basic bright, you know, open hall, a little bit roomy sounds, but with a naturally lo-fi character because it's going to be an unbalanced guitar pedal sound versus something that's trying to really be as realistic as possible you get a really great tone and texture that actually blends well into an actual audio mix so i've got my signal running um, into this guy from this little reamp box that i made right here which that's taking the signal from my daw and i set up a nice little aux send it sends out my signal to my reamp box which then sends it out an unbalanced line, turns it into an unbalanced signal, and sends it into a, at a level that the descent is going to be expecting. And so with that in mind, I can actually dial it up simply on a knob, even on a track. So if I've got this little drum track playing right here, and let's say I want to add some reverb to the snare. This is all completely dry. Now I start to pull this up send the snare back down through the descent all the way through that whole process and it's able to give me a whole level of control and tweaking whether on that on the kick drum itself and then on the whole drum kit to get some pretty intense sounds if I need to that are going to be even larger and more lo-fi than I might be able to get with a pretty typical or standard reverb plugin. This guy becomes your plugin in the box, except it's nicely out of the box and tweakable and analog and, and joyful. So it's all about the joy. And that's it.